So the Street Profits come out because they are going to be facing uh, Jimmy and Solo, and they just kind of talk trash. So then they end up getting into a match. And this was disappointing for me, too, because it was such a short match with the Street Profits. And I was like, okay, what are we doing here? Like, I'm glad that they got a match with the Usos, but, like, let's not use them to just be like, okay, we need Jimmy and Solo to win to make it seem like the bloodline is doing okay. So let's use the Street Profits. It's like, no, let's not. Let's yeah. not do that. We, there's probably some other no, random I, people. No, I love I love that the Street Profits were, were put in that because what that does is it keeps them on television and you need to get them intertwine with the bloodline away and get them you know solo and jimmy or geez I, yes i was right that time yeah. solo and jimmy need to be in that situation because now it's just adding more layers now you're getting you know to see you hear jimmy's side when he talks you're getting to see more solo but he's with jimmy as the enforcer still and that builds him up as this just wrecking ball even getting the pinfall and that's what's massive yeah and it can also play into because we don't know how the storyline is going to go with Jay and the bloodline. It also shows that Jimmy can get the job done without Jay. That's huge, too. That was a yeah. good. That's a really good point to it, because if it ends up coming to that, because we still don't know. I mean, we assume that it's going to be the Usos versus whoever at Mania for the tag titles. But it's possible that they are going to try and take Jay away and it ends up being solo and Jimmy with the tag titles on the line. Um, unlikely, but you know, it is a possible scenario and that definitely feeds into it. 